All right. This month, we have been focusing a lot on breast cancer. Breast cancer is the second most common cancer in women after skin cancer. Every year, there are about 230,000 new cases in women, and many women who are diagnosed face surgeries. A local hospital has some new technology for breast reconstruction. It is called the Fluo Beam, and St. Vincent's one of four hospitals in the country offering this technology. So joining me now, we have Dr. Michael Feluco. Did I get that right? Yes, Feluco. Yeah, yes. Feluco, plastic and reconstructive surgeon, along with patient Doreen Ortiage. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, and let's tell a little bit about your story because you were diagnosed with breast cancer back in May. It was stage one, but you had to make a big decision. I did. Mm -hmm. And what did you decide to do? Um, because my mother had breast cancer and because of MRI, results, I decided to have double mastectomy. Which is a difficult decision to make. It was very difficult. Right. Um, but you also had an option that not all patients do. True. And that's where Dr. Faluco came in. Um, tell me about this new technology and how it helps to lessen complications. Um, well, how this works, this is a handheld device that we use in the operating room. And it really, uh, it shows us how the blood flow works. So um, using this camera, the anesthesiologist gives a dye and I can actually see how the blood flow is traveling through the body. So everything I do in plastic surgery depends on blood supply. Mm -hmm. And with this, I can really define where I need to go, cut down surgery time, improve outcomes. And uh, with Doreen, she wanted a natural reconstruction without implants. Right. So we used her own belly fat in a procedure called a deep flap, where we just take the fat from the belly to reconstruct the breast and with the camera I can make sure that the tissue I'm using is healthy and I'm only transferring the healthy tissue so it cuts down on her surgery time, her complications and hopefully has something she's happy right. with. Right and we can smile now because you're doing well but it really is the best of both worlds. Take this fat away <laughs> and put it in a place you know. This is but true. Um, you were saying that if you did notice that there was something wrong with that tissue, that it wasn't fresh and healthy, you have an option. You don't necessarily not have to do it, but you would then cut a little further and, until you get to some healthy tissue. Yeah, exactly. And um, that's what's exciting about this. It helps me uh, make real-time decisions. So on the spot, if I can change my surgical plan, um, and then I'm not finding out a week later, oh, she has an area that just isn't healing well. So. Um, and what could happen? What are the complications if you didn't have this technology? Uh, if I didn't have this technology, really, um, chances are that um, maybe right on the edge of the tissue, she has an area that just doesn't want to heal well and just really delays that process towards getting back to your new life. Right. Which, again, you know, you've talked about it. It has been a little difficult. It takes time, and that's naturally with the surgery that you would get. But the idea that once you heal, you're healed, and you can get on with your life. I'm sure that's reassuring. Very reassuring. Mm -hmm. And how are you doing? I'm doing well. You do, and yeah. you look great, I Thank must you. say. And Thank so you. this is one of four hospitals in the country. Why is it so rare? Um, well, it's a, it's a newer device. There's similar technology, but what's exciting about this is it's a handheld portable device. Mm -hmm. So it's not as cumbersome, time dependent, and um, really being able to use this, it's, it's giving me that added set of eyes that you know, usually we were just going on our best clinical right. judgment before. And have you noticed statistically that the outcomes are better? Yes, definitely. It's, it's changed what I've done in the operating room and uh, definitely improved outcomes. You know, it's, it's a struggle. It's a terrible disease to have to face. And if you don't have to deal with it for many, many months after, better. You know, it's Agreed. much, much better. Agreed. And good for you. I'm glad you were able to get this. One of the very first few patients that have this technology here at St. Vincent's. In fact, you guys are offering a free information session if you are considering post mastectomy breast reconstruction. It will be held on Wednesday, October 21st at 6 p.m. Maggiano's Restaurant, a great place to have it at the St. John's Town Center. And you'll have doctors on hand to answer any questions. Certainly something that women, husbands, family members can go to get more information. So RSVP called 262-3372. Thank you guys for coming in. And so happy to see you're doing so well. Good to be here. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you.